Hi, welcome to DA Australia. I've been away a little bit, I've just been to see my friends in the Northern Territory, so I thought while I'm here, I might as well give it a bit of a wave and say hello to everyone and thanks for ruining my liver. Apparently it'll recover in the next six months. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Today we want to talk about baffling or ducting your engine. And now this occasionally baffles some people, they're not really sure what we're talking about when we're doing this. Now, essentially what we're talking about is telling all the air going into your cow through your engine. Now it's pretty essential on most of today's modern engines that you want to cool them down as best you can. Given it's an air-cooled motor, you want to get as much air over that, flying as best as you can, as direct as you can over the cylinder fins. Now, as you can see with this mo with uh, this edge here, there's not a lot going in, but if you channel it really well, it'll cool the thing quite quickly. The other thing you've got to remember is what goes in must come out. And the rule of thumb is, you'll hear a few different tales about what, the, what it should be, is three to one of whatever goes in should come out. You can hear as much as four, but usually the more you've got going out, the better it is. Now, I'll get Mark to come down and have a look here. We'll take the lid off this Edge 540 and you can have a look to see what I've done on this one. Now, it can be as complicated or as simple as you really want to make it. As you can see, this one's been made of balsa and it's got some light ply over it. Now, this is just half millimetre ply that's just been CA'd onto it. Essentially, what I'm trying to do here is channel every bit of air that's going in through the front onto the cylinder fins. Now, these are things that are going to do all the cooling for you and if you can get that as direct as possible onto there, the better, it, the better it is. Now, you might think that this little gap here is not much worth worrying about, but essentially what happens is the air hits here, forces all the incoming air to spread out. And what we're doing here is telling it, whatever comes in here, you have to go through this lot. Now, when it does that, you'll find your engine will run significantly cooler. Now, you can do that on both sides. Some, depending on, on your cowl, with yaks this is slightly more difficult because of the size of the cowl. But essentially, with any of the extras, the edges, this is about as easy as you're ever going to make it. Now, if you don't have a split cowl, it's a little, little more difficult. But at the worst case scenario, probably all you should do is at least the bottom one. If you can do the bottom part of the baffle to direct the air onto the top, at least you're getting more than about 70% of, of the way there. Uh, now, once it all goes in here, it's all got to dissipate and go somewhere else. Now, clearly there's a fair bit of room back here. You'll find it'll exit out through the bottom. And one of the things you'll see on, particularly on this cow, at the bottom of the lip of the exit, there's a little air force shape there. What that does is allow the air to go down and draw away, effectively creating a low pressure area would actually start sucking the air out. So this will actually start pulling the air out much, much quicker than it would if it was just flat. Now this is pretty straightforward. Um, every aeroplane is slightly different, so it's quite, it is quite difficult to tell you the best way to be doing this, but uh, with a lot of aeroplanes, this is quite simple. It doesn't take a long time to do, but it is worth doing. Right, one of the, one of the things you want to look at too when, you, when you're baffling here, this gap here, it needs to be reasonably tight. It doesn't want to be touching the cylinders, but you want about a millimetre up to two mil, not much more than that to give you a little bit of gap so everything possible has to go through the fins. Uh, you don't want it way back here so it gives it the opportunity to bugger off down through the bottom and out of there. Keep it reasonably tight but don't let it touch. 